Welcome back. Bonjour tout le monde. That was freaking sick. I am actually here right now. Time for the stadium fact of the day. Time for best of the ballpark. This place is insane. It's a final here from the Target Center. I'm checking off a bucket list one stadium at a time. Hey guys, welcome back to Garrett Stadium Travel. Today is stadium vlog number 24. Right now, I'm in New York City, and today I'm going to watch the New York Giants take on the New England Patriots at MetLife Stadium. Now, I was at MetLife on Friday to watch Black Friday football between the Jets and the Dolphins, but today I'm going to see what the Giants have to offer with MetLife Stadium. Of course, they can be different with different teams, so we're going to kind of compare and contrast the two of them. Now, this isn't exactly a marquee matchup as the Patriots and the Giants are struggling a lot this year, but there's some legends. Bill Belichick is still the coach for the Patriots and Saquon Barkley is still one of the best running backs in the National Football League. Hopefully, hopefully we're in for a good game. It's supposed to rain at around the fourth quarter. Hopefully that holds off. Uh, but for now, we are going to go right behind me to Penn Station to catch the train out to the Meadowlands. So come along with me. Let's go. Hey guys, I'm up here in the 300 level, way at the top of MetLife Stadium, and it's time for the stadium fact of the day. The stadium fact of the day today is all about the big game. While the NFL opts for a controlled environment for the Super Bowl on a year-to-year -year basis, in 2014, they made the leap and put the Super Bowl here at MetLife Stadium, making it the first and to this day only cold weather Super Bowl in NFL history. While the game itself was kind of forgettable, for most football fans, it was memorable for me as for my my favorite team, the Seattle Seahawks, captured their first Lombardi. Enough about that though. Uh, but it begs the question, more cold weather Super Bowls? Who knows? Let me know in the comments if this is something you'd want to see. For now, I'm gonna explore a bit more, grab some food, and then hopefully enjoy a great game. Let's go.
It's a final here for MetLife Stadium. The Giants won it 10 to seven on a missed field goal. That is insane. That's all for me here. It was a wet one, it was a cold one, but the Giants came up with the dub. Uh, no rest for the wicked though. We're gonna go to Brooklyn now to watch the Nets and the Bulls. So stay tuned for that video. And uh, yeah, after that, gonna head back to the city and then tell you guys what I saw. Peace out for now. Hey guys, just got back to the hotel. It was a rainy one, it was a cold one at MetLife today. A barn burner of a game. But with that, I'm gonna tell you guys what I saw from MetLife Stadium, the Giants version. So first up is atmosphere. I thought atmosphere was, it was decent. Obviously a game between two bottom feeders, you don't expect a, a really raucous crowd and it, it wasn't. They had to be egged on to, to make noise, kind of on third down, that kind of stuff. The, oh, it's third down, get loud. But uh, other than that, there wasn't too much, maybe a couple of let's go Giants chants, but not a lot outside of like the big plays in the game and stuff like that. Um, 
yeah and there's a good tailgate scene so that obviously factors into atmosphere uh which was pretty good next up is venue metlife stadium is very basic the aesthetic is basic the food is basic and it's overall just really really basic the things that they change between the jets and the giants are the lights and some banners you know along like the flagpoles and stuff uh I really wish there was more character for each team. It it just doesn't seem like there is. Hopefully there's some kind of plan in place to spruce up spruce it up for each team. And one thing they did do is put the logos at the 50 yard line. I love that. That is a good start, but more has to be done. <clears throat> Next up is access. I thought access was pretty good. Uh, you have the MGM line. It's all part of uh, the New Jersey transit system that connects up to Penn Station, which connects you to basically anywhere. So that was good. Uh, I don't recommend driving. If you're a tourist in New York City, don't do it. Take transit. Uh, don't rent a car. If you want to take Ubers and taxis, by all means, but it's going to get really, really expensive. If you're a local, you definitely can drive, but this is more for the tourists and stuff like that. So driving is a no-no. Uh, last up is pricing. There were cheap tickets for this game due to the situations of both teams. Of course, when the team is better in the Giants, the tickets do go up. So obviously this is kind of a rarity. I mean, the Giants have been good and bad, so it's kind of fluctuated there. But the food was expensive. Everything else was basically expensive. I've said it in all the New York videos this time around. Uh, New York has like this tax where everything is just more expensive for no reason. I mean, I guess the reason is big city, that kind of stuff, but it's more expensive than the majority, if not all of the arenas and stadiums that I've been to in other cities. So there's that. And yeah, uh, my final ranking for MetLife Stadium, the Giants version is a five for atmosphere, a five for venue, a seven for access and a six for pricing bringing it to a total of 23 out of 40. Really average, really, really average. I said it in the Jets video, I'll say it here again. There's some stuff to like about MetLife Stadium, but it's just really, really average. It's almost painfully average. The future is uncertain for MetLife Stadium. I'm not sure if the Jets are gonna stay there long-term, if the Giants are gonna stay there long-term and what's gonna happen, obviously, don't know until stuff comes out nothing's come out yet so it's their home from now until tbd so i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like comment subscribe all that cool stuff and uh, follow along for the journey i am on the journey to see every home team in pro sports at their home stadium and uh yeah as always i am checking off a bucket list one stadium at a time and i will see you in the next video peace